Takes a little, a little finagling to get everything set up. Hi. Oh my god! It's a normal staff! How did I do that? Okay, it's fine. <clears throat> I've only completed one of the two miscellaneous quests, and first time checking it after four days, we've got a pretty decent return of herbs. After your comments on the last video, I know herbs are not the most efficient thing to put miscellaneous on, so I'm gonna leave it on herbs for the next little bit, but well before it's time to train construction and fire making, and well before I get invention unlocked, I'll make sure to switch it to a mix of hardwood and regular maple logs as well. So, thanks for that. Well, you've seen my invent is 18 Necronium Plate Bodies 4. Now, although it seems tempting to quickly elk them for close to 3 million coins, we're actually going to burial all of these for 20,000 experience each. This will get me almost exactly to level 80 smithing. And as soon as we've done that, we can start mining Bainite that elks for double. Two more levels to go. 79 smithing, one more level to go. That is level 80 smithing done. That's something we've set our sights on since the very first episode of this series. It's Bainite smithing for money, it's the invention requirement, it's a huge level, and now we can start working on mining and smithing Bainite. Should be even more money, and this gear is actually good enough that I can also PVM with it. Bainite plus four weaponry scales up to tier 79, so it's pretty good. Okay, here's the deal. We've got our first invent of Bainite mined. Dude, it's so ridiculous ridiculously far from a bank. So if I were to bank, I would have to teleport to this lodestone and run all the way there. So that's that's a problem. I think at a, at a certain point, I'm going to need signs of the porter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first invent of Bainite. I'm going to get myself a new ore box. I'm going to get a pickaxe, upgrade the pickaxe. And then after that, I think it's finally time to start training divination. We are level 12. That's not gonna work. I didn't want to do caches, but this skill is actually terrible. I've had my two female spiders in my breeding pen for literally three weeks, and they haven't managed to adopt a child yet. They're both 100% health and happiness, but looks like it's just not happening. If you have two animals of the same gender, they can adopt a baby, but there's no bad luck protection, so there's no limit on how long it could take. Unfortunately for me, this means I don't have a breeding pair of spiders, and I'm gonna go and unlock the trapper. You pay the trapper 100 beans, and he'll take six hours running around RuneScape to find you a random animal. This can include chinchampas, spiders, dragons, really anything you can get through player-owned farms. That's 66 farming. Not bad at all. Just getting my Reaper done right now. That is level 68 constitution, and we're just gonna keep working on the combat levels. I'm still mostly gonna be a melee build, but with my stats, we're not really ready to tribrid, so magic is the only option for me. 58 Slayer, Reaper complete, and we didn't lose our hardcore status. That is Cave Horrors unlocked, which is actually one of the things we need. We need a Black Mask before we can start proper training Slayer, so that's a really important level. Makes me very happy. Chest number four of the Reaper. Oh, I'm waiting for that Aram staff in there. It's gonna look so good. This is about to be the end of the Reaper assignment and the start of my tier 70 staff. Okay, maybe not. That's level 67 farming coming in. Not too bad. Before I get myself a black mask, I want to get myself a charming imp. It's gonna take a while to get, but I'd rather have it before I start training Slayer. The easiest way to get dungeoneering tokens in the game is to trio the elite dungeons, just kill the mini bosses, and then rinse and repeat. But it breaks my no leeching rule, and it also kind of feels like cheating, so we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. not excited. It's not like I've got the Bone Crusher as well as the Amulet I need to start Slayer or anything. Definitely not. Yeah, really not. I don't have 21 summoning. I'm literally the worst at this game. Okay, boys, we need to get 21 summoning right now. Right now. I love how it's 21 summoning, 21 dungeoneering. Nice. Um, we uh, slightly overtrained the dungeoneering. 1.6 million total XP. 
There is my brand new Charming Imp. Absolutely beautiful. 23 Divi. Still hate caches though. Another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at me go. I have the Slayer requirement for Cave Horrors, which will get me a Black Mask, which is vital for Slayer training with Melee. Unfortunately, I'm missing a good 10 quests, so let's bang those out right now. While I'm at it, I'm also going to complete the Smoking Kills quest so I can start earning Slayer points at double the rate. By the end of today, I should be ready to train Slayer. Dude, I have your kids! Bro, quest complete. Oh no, that's the wrong password! <gasps> No way. There's no freaking way. If they make me do the whole thing again, I'm, I'm getting literally no. I literally have to do the whole thing again. Sweet. Dude, that beard is unreal, though. That, that belongs in a museum. No, dude. Dude, if I fail this thing, I'm going to be very upset. Can't fail it three times in a row. Please, buddy. Please. Jump. Oh, my God. Come on, buddy. Please. There we go. Quest complete, two quest points. Good amount of thieving and agility XP, actually. I will absolutely take that. Do I not have the strength level for assault? I don't. Oh, that's kind of unlike. Oh, yeah, I do. Dude, why aren't you on the bar, bro? 5k Slayer XP, increased Slayer points for completing tasks, access to Simona, new tome. Perfect. That's, uh, that's a really big quest to get done. 72 quest points as well in the hardcore. Quest complete. 29 fletching, one more level to go. And then we can do Zogre Flesh Eaters. Let's get the quest done. I, I think I'm being trolled at this point. They're going to start despawning. That's how many of these we've made. <laughs> Please, man. Oh, there we go. It only took... Yeah. First try. <clears> there <throat> we go. Zogre Flesh Eaters complete. Priest in Peril quest complete. Rum deal done. Look at all that XP. 7k farming, fishing prayer, holy wrench. Beautiful. 80 quest points too. Not too bad. That quest was too bad though. Best thing about that quest is I don't need to do it anymore. So now we need a little 40 ranged and then time to do the final quest. Level 40 ranged. We're done. There. Oh, double kill. Oh, it's so sick. And this should be the end of the quest. We should now have access to Mostly Harmless as well as Cave Horrors. That took probably a little longer than it should have, but we got her done. That's the important thing. Cabin Fever done, let's get ourselves a Black Mask. With the release of Unspeakable Horrors, Cave Horrors had their drops updated, and they're absolutely broken for Iron Man. You get things like coconuts, weapon poison, grimy ranars, a bunch of jewelry that you can turn into signs of the porter. They're actually ridiculous. Level 68 attack, two more levels until we get to upgrade our gear in a massive, massive way. That literally took 19 minutes. I am so lucky. Black Mask done, I guess we leave now and maybe come back if we get a slayer task well that was easy tell me this is not the most beastly account setup you've ever seen look at this oh it's so good all right let's get going second task in level 60 slayer coming in i can now do aberrant specters they're not my favorite thing to do but they're insanely good herbs so i'm sure i'll be there a lot maxed out oracle light requires 60 attack to wield but it scales to tier 63 in one more attack level when I hit level 70, I'll be able to use the Necronium gear. Max out Necronium is tier 74, so we're going to be gaining 11 levels of damage and accuracy. That's going to speed things up a whole lot. That's my fifth task completed since the forced Dagonoth King's task a couple episodes ago, so I'm finally earning Slayer points. I've got a super secret plan for when I'm an extremely high level player that I can't tell you guys about, but it requires an absolute ton of Slayer points, so I'm going to try and not skip too often. Fire Giants! Absolutely beautiful. What a great task. That's 70 attack. Let's grab our new gear. Hell yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so cool. I I literally... Lame? Not lame. Lame? Not lame. Lame? Let's get some Slayer levels, boys. 70 HP. I can now access Krill, although I won't be using magic for a while, so I don't see myself going there anytime soon. 61 Slayer. Ooh, Rum Pumped Crabs. Could get ourselves a, a brackish blade that has, I believe, zero practical uses. I, I think, honestly, everything I've learned on the hardcore so far, the, the biggest trick is you take zero risks. You never know what's going to happen. So doesn't matter how, like, relatively safe it is. You do not risk it. That's the trick to having a hardcore that you don't lose really early. Ooh, that hurts. That's... Whew. All right. Fifth chest on the Reaper. Okay. Um, Is that useful at all? No, nope, it's not. I, I already have a better better web that I that I made with mining and smithing. But I can turn that into a defender. So 
I will absolutely take it. An item is an item. Let's uh, let's get out. Get the next two down. Barrow's chest number six on the Reaper. Are we going back to back? Uh, what? Um, what is this luck on this account? The luck of the Iron Man. The plan for this account was always to train up my combat stats to the 80s, 90s, and even beyond that by training Slayer. Slayer gives you access to a number of monsters that are very important. Things like Lost Grove creatures with Cinder Vein gloves that I'm going to need for Telos. On top of that, Wilderness Slayer is on the table for some extremely risky but extremely useful rewards. Some of the best experience per hour and best GP per hour monsters in the entire game come through Slayer, and I'm really enjoying training this skill now. We've obviously just started, and there's a long way to go, but it's been great to get up a couple times a week, start a stream, and spend the entire day training Slayer. I end up getting a ton of levels, I make money, I learn new things about the game that I never got to experience. I did most of my Slayer training before the evolution of combat, so it's been really enjoyable to do it all over again on a fresh account the second time through. Seeds, ready? Two quorums, an Irid seed, Cadentine seed, five Toad Flax seeds, Snapdragon seed, two Avento seeds, and like 300k cash. In the next episode, I'm gonna try my hand at the fight caves. It's time to start upgrading the gear. If you liked this video, then you know what to do. But if you didn't like the video, I'd appreciate a comment letting me know if there's anything you'd like to see me do differently. Outside of that, I hope you're all well, have a good one, and peace out, I will catch you in the next one.